Hey guys, Juliana Pawada here from CBRC. I hope everyone is well and you're enjoying the warm weather. Thanks again for tuning in to this month's quick tip video. In today's video, I will be explaining the purpose of a due diligence period in commercial real estate. So due diligence is a commonly accepted business practice that verifies key facts concerning a real estate transaction. A simple example of a due diligence in residential sales would be uh, a buyer involving a home inspector to a home inspection. However, with commercial real estate, due diligence is far more expansive, particularly with large complex transactions. Prospective commercial buyers must carefully assess all risks associated with a business and or property acquisition, with particular emphasis on factors impacting ongoing income stability. Due diligence typically focuses on financial, legal, structural, planning, and environmental considerations. Most are customized to suit individual circumstances, but ultimately the goal is full knowledge of relevant facts. Due diligence can range from a straightforward direct inquiry by a prospective owner to a team of accounting, legal, planning, and other professionals, scrutinizing every aspect of the business or investment property and developing a substantial customized audit. Commercial transactions usually provide for a relatively open-ended provision, and usually it's between, it can take between 10 to 120 days or more, giving the buyer wide-ranging access to transaction-related information, available through public sources, as well as detailed documentation that has been supplied by the seller. The buyer usually has the right to simply walk away from the transaction if anything discovered does not meet the expectations, as long as it's within that due diligence period. No standard clause is used as the scope of the material needed and the time period may vary. So ultimately, the goal is full knowledge of relevant facts relating to the purchase. All documents must be closely examined, along with a thorough inspection of the property. Once this has been completed, the buyer can either waive or fulfill their conditions or they can walk away from the transaction completely. I hope I helped uh, teach you guys here something today about due diligence. Thanks again for tuning in for this month's quick tip video. As always, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to Mark or I at any time. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you guys all next month. Take care.